Hello, my name is Rob Foley. I'm a student at the University College Dublin School of Medicine and one of the authors of the above titled paper. The purpose of this short video is to give a brief outline of our paper. So I'd like to thank the BJUI for naming this paper the article of the week and I hope you enjoy the video. The decision to proceed to prostate biopsy at present is largely based upon the combination of a patient's clinical characteristics and their PSA level, or perhaps a number of PSA levels over time. However, in order to improve our decision for prostate biopsy and direct those resources towards patients most in need of investigation, we must aim to improve our patient risk stratification. One such method is to improve upon our current biomarkers, namely PSA, through the use of the Prostate Health Index score. In this way, we can look to improve our risk stratification and hence improve our patient selection for biopsy. The Prostate Health Index is essentially a biomarker panel. This panel consists of pro-PSA, free PSA and total PSA. The novel component of the Phi score is pro-PSA, which is an isoform of free PSA and has been demonstrated to be preferentially expressed in malignant prostate tissue. The Phi score is then calculated as per the formula shown at the bottom of this slide. In the interest of brevity, we won't be examining all of the figures from the article, so if you wish, please do analyse the paper in more detail. In summary, 250 patients with serum drawn pre-biopsy were included in this paper. And now we'll be comparing three multivariable models. Firstly, one which includes clinical risk factors and PSA. Secondly, one which includes clin clinical risk factors and the Phi score. And thirdly, the prostate cancer prevention trial risk calculator, or the PCPT. The PCPT, pictured in blue, has been a focus of much of our group's research and was included in this paper to provide a gold standard against which one could compare our own multivariable models. In this ROC curve on the left, for the prediction of all grades of prostate cancer, we can see that the multivariable model, which includes the Phi score, shown in pink, outperforms a PSA model and also the PCPT. It achieves an area under the curve of 0 0.77, and this improvement over the other two models is statistically significant. And if we look at the performance of these same three models in the prediction of high-grade prostate cancer on the right-hand side, which is Gleason 7 or more, we can see a very similar result, which, again, shows a statistically significant improvement of the Phi model. Now looking at some decision curves, keeping the colour scheme the same, we can see that the net benefit associated with the use of the Phi model exceeds that of the other two models along the majority of predicted risk values shown on the x-axis. And importantly, the Phi model begins to show an increased benefit over the strategy of biopsy in all patients, which is pictured by the grey line, at a lower risk value than both the PSA model and the PCPT. And again, in the prediction of high-grade prostate cancer, the Phi model outperforms the other two models analyzed in this paper. I think the main message to take away is that in order to improve the decision for prostate biopsy, and hence the diagnosis of prostate cancer, a multivariable approach to patient risk stratification should be utilized. In this paper, we have outlined one method to improve this risk stratification through the use of the Phi score. I have a few brief acknowledgements, firstly to the UCD School of Medicine for awarding me a scholarship to undertake this research, and to the Irish Cancer Society for funding. And then a thank you to our colleagues in Trinity College Dublin and the research, nursing and medical staff at the Matter, St. James's and Beaumont Hospitals. And finally, a large thank you to my co-authors for their help with this project. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video.